In the ever-evolving realm of data science, accurate and rapid data retrieval is paramount. Dictionaries in Python stand out as quintessential tools, offering both performance and clarity. This guide dives deep into their mechanics and applications. A dictionary in Python encapsulates an unordered collection of key value pairs, ensuring efficient data lookup. A dictionary is initiated with curly braces. It comprises key value pairs, separated by a colon. The user profile variable holds a dictionary with three key value pairs. To retrieve a value, use its key. This is one of the reasons dictionaries are fast, they utilize hash maps. This extracts the value associated with the key designation. The get method provides a way to retrieve values safely. If a key doesn't exist, it returns a default value. Since department doesn't exist in the dictionary, not specified, is returned. Adding a new key value pair to a dictionary is straightforward. The dictionary now has a new key, department, with its associated value. Updating a value using its key is simple. The value associated with the key, experience, is now updated to 9. Use the backquote del backquote keyword to remove a key value pair. This removes the key, experience, and its associated value from the dictionary. The keys method retrieves all keys and values, fetches all values in a dictionary. For a combined view of keys and values, use the items method. Dictionary comprehensions allow for concise and efficient dictionary creation. This creates a new dictionary with numbers as keys and their squares as values. Nested dictionaries are dictionaries within dictionaries, useful for structured data. Accessing nested dictionaries requires referencing keys sequentially. This retrieves the value associated with the key, years, inside the Mr. Alex dictionary. Practical application, using dictionaries to evaluate metrics. To determine the key with the maximum value, use the max function. In the intricate landscape of data structures, Python dictionaries emerge as potent, versatile tools. Their adaptability to diverse scenarios, from basic data storage to intricate real-world applications, underscores their indispensable nature in a professional's toolkit. If you've made it this far, you're ready to roll up your sleeves and build a contact management system with me. We're going to take everything we've learned about Python dictionaries and put it into practice. Let's jump right in. Our objective here is to build a contact management system that allows us to perform CRUD operations. We'll take user input and create an interactive interface. We start by defining our main function. Inside it, we initialize an empty dictionary called contacts to hold our contact information. We will define multiple functions to read, update, and delete elements from our contact information system. We first define a function named add contact. This function will prompt the user to input a name, phone number, and email address. We then store these details in our contacts dictionary under the provided name. Next, let's add a function named display contacts that will loop through our contacts dictionary and print out all the stored contact information. Now, let's create the update contact function. This function will first ask for the name of the contact to update. If it exists, the function will prompt for new phone and email information and update the relevant fields in the contacts dictionary. The delete contact function asks for the name of the contact to delete. If the contact exists, it removes it from the contacts dictionary using the del statement. Next, the search contact function prompts the user for the name of the contact they're looking for. If the contact exists in our contacts dictionary, it prints out the details. Finally, we create an endless loop that displays a menu of choices. Depending on what the user chooses, the respective function gets called. Inside this loop, we display a menu of choices to the user and take their input to decide what action to take next. We use a series of if and elif statements to call the appropriate function based on the user's choice. We also provide an option to exit the program, breaking out of the loop. If the user enters 6, a message is displayed, and the break statement is executed. This breaks out of the while true loop, effectively stopping the program. 
And lastly, there is also a provision for invalid input. If the user enters anything other than the choices provided, 1 to 6, an error message is displayed, and the loop continues, allowing them to make another choice. And that wraps it up. You've built a fully functional contact management system using Python dictionaries. You've applied CRUD operations in a real-world scenario, and you've seen how to make your Python programs interactive. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this tutorial helpful, and make sure to subscribe for more advanced Python projects and tutorials. Happy coding, and see you next time!